Today we're going to do a fun Q&A, uh, answering some questions that we've gotten about living abroad. Mm -hmm. With some fun, juicy questions mixed in. Let's get juicy. Oh, yeah. All right, so subscribe, hit the bell so you can get all of our content. And don't miss out on the Q&A. It's coming your way. Dang, don't rhyme. Here we go. So we compiled a list of questions based on comments we've received and just input we think would be helpful to you. And we've also come up with some other questions so you can get to know us on a more personal level that are a little fun and juicy. Uh oh, so, get Latino ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question numero uno. That's the right. first one. Um, okay. What makes you most anxious about living abroad? I Okay, I'll, I'll go. I know. Okay. Um, I would have to say that I always get a little bit nervous with having the kids if like they were to get hurt or get sick. Uh, we are two hours from like a really good hospital in Waikil, so there are good hospitals here where we are close to Bainita, but that is something that I'm all, always in the back of my head. I'm kind of a little bit nervous, like, oh. <laughs> that would be horrible if something bad happened. So. Yeah, healthcare is definitely a concern. Mm -hmm. uh, I think general security too. Like, uh, maybe just where our house is situated, uh, I feel like we're a little bit isolated. So at times I worry of, uh, you know, potential break-in or mm -hmm. um, just our things getting stolen. So I would say, yeah, healthcare and security are probably the biggest anxious things. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Number two. Uh, what is the meaning behind oh. our life unknown? Right, so why are we called our life unknown? Uh, so I'll start, I think. Um, yeah. Why did we choose that name? <laughs> <laughs> so really, when we were thinking of a name, it was just, we considered where we were, and we were kind of on this path unknown, right? We didn't, we're living in Ecuador, but uh, we're still trying to figure out where we're going. You know, and it's kind of this, our life is unknown. I mean, we really don't know where we'll be a year from now, even a few months from now. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was kind of a fitting name to kind of describe, you know, our situation and... Uh, but just in life in general, um, I mean, we also, we quit our corporate world jobs to pursue yeah. this um, journey, so... So yeah, it's unknown, but it's fun and exciting too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, juicy question time. Let's get juicy. <laughs> All right, you can go first. Pick first. All right. Let's see. Okay. All right. What is a misconception people have about you? A common misconception. Uh, so most people think I'm a model, <laughs> underwear yeah. model, actor. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Um, that's tough. Uh, what are you, I think, well, the one thing, people back home, I think assume that we're just kind of on vacation in some ways, you know, that we're just kind of living this glamorous lifestyle by the beach and, you know, everything is wonderful and happy-go-lucky. But, you know, the reality is, is we, we have the same struggles that, you know, most families do. I mean, we live in a beautiful location, uh, but we we sacrifice a lot, you know, both from uh, friends and family, uh, finances, uh, you know, there's all those worries too that, that come with uh, a life abroad. It's not all uh, this Rainbows dream world. <laughs> so I think that's a common misconception. Mm -hmm. Or that we're always Yippee. on vacation. Like, yeah, vacation. Definitely yeah. not always on vacation. So. It is noon and we're not. <laughs> Okay, mine. Okay. Okay. Oh my goodness! What it says? Would you sell your blankie for two, uh, twenty thousand um, dollars? Well, first of all, I don't think. So anybody backstory, knows. backstory. Yeah. Yeah. So tell them the backstory. You have. So a I have a my baby blanket that I still sleep with every night, and I, I swear to you, I don't get a good night's sleep if I don't have my blanket <laughs> with me. Um, but no, I would not sell my baby blanket for... 20 grand? No. no. 50 grand? <laughs> no, no. There would be no One dollar amount. million dollars? No dollar amount. My grandma made me this I blanket. I would take that blanket yeah. and sell it if somebody offered it. Oh this. my I'm, God. No, I wouldn't. Okay, we need I to show, we need I to show you. I couldn't, but I might try to convince you. <laughs> we need to show you this blanket. Uh, yeah. 
That's a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> Let's get back to these okay. questions. Okay. So okay. we'll get in here. Okay. Do you plan to stay in Ecuador long term? Good question. Um, I don't know. I, I don't, I, I don't foresee us staying here forever. I, I, we think we would like to travel and see new places, see new countries because life is short and why not? <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I mean, I think uh, we honestly don't know. That's why it's kind of like this unknown path, but, uh, yeah, it's not indefinite here. I mean, we do like Ecuador a lot and we're happy, but uh, we would like to explore other parts of the world, uh, other parts of Latin America, Europe, uh, Southeast Asia. So uh, I think our goal is to travel more mm -hmm. and live in other countries. Yeah. All right, okay. the next one. Okay. Uh, what do you miss most about the USA? Mm. Okay, I'll say I miss, I miss um, not being able, like just the variety, the there's just so many different options. You go to Walmart and you've got like, I don't know, like hundreds of cereals to choose from here. Amazon. You, yeah, Amazon you have. Yeah, so maybe just. The convenience. Yeah, the convenience is having more options yeah. for things. Yeah. Yeah, I really miss kind of that sense of belonging too because, you know, in Ecuador, I guess any country, you know, you're going to be seen as like a foreigner, right? So. Like we stand out, like we're no, like we're the Americans, we're the Gringos. Uh, whereas you know, in the U.S., you know, that's our country. Right? So there's mm -hmm. our community, our friends, our family, so all that stuff. And I also really miss the the social aspect of sports. Like I'm a big uh, NFL fan, baseball fan, basketball fan, and uh, at least here in Ecuador, it's not a big thing, right? So I really have nobody to talk to about sports uh, or even play yeah. sports that I like. Uh, so I really, really miss that as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously family and friends. Yeah. Okay. okay. So now, juicy questions. Let's get juicy. Get personal. <laughs> you pick first. This time. Okay. Okay, what is the best thing about being married to me? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, in, um, obviously, um, you're incredibly funny, and you're always up for an adventure to do anything at any time. Okay. And um, good sex. <laughs> well, I would agree with that. Okay. <laughs> All right, next question. Yeah, Wait, you pick. Oh, I yeah. Uh, let's go with this one. What are some of your biggest life aspirations? Um, boy, deep one. <laughs> biggest life aspirations. I mean, so definitely goals. I want to learn how to break dance, weirdly enough. Oh. It's always been a, a dream of mine to learn how to dance really well. Uh, to kind of be that guy who shows up at a wedding and do all these cool moves. They're breakdance uh, so <laughs> uh, I would like to eventually... Uh, I like kind of the, the comedic storytelling, so whether that's through like uh, a skit that I write or some kind of story, I would love to pursue more of that. Mm. And I think... And then living in other countries is a big aspiration, I think, for our family. So we would love to... Uh, live in different parts of the world, uh, meet new cultures, and, and also provide a hand to those that need us too. So mm -hmm. we're, we're very much hopeful to, to get to different parts of the world. Cool. Okay. All right. Back to our question. All right. Let's okay. do it. What is the best part about living abroad? Okay. Good question. Um, best part about living abroad? Let's see. I think for me, it's the lifestyle. Uh, I think. You can live on less, so it affords you so much more time to do, uh, pursue passions or spend time with family, spend time with the kids. Mm -hmm. And it's just really, you know, back in America, we were both working a lot of hours. Um, so, you know, I was like, go to work from whatever, eight till six, seven o'clock at night. And it was very structured, right? Whereas yeah. here, our days are. I mean, we're busy, we definitely work a lot, but we have, it's not structured, like we plan out our days based on, on what we think is 
what we want to do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, w I would agree with you. Like, I think living abroad, having more family time, we don't have a lot of disruptions because it is really just us. I mean, we have friends here, mm -hmm. but it really is nice being able to, at this time and age, like with our kids, at how they're like really young right now, being able to really focus just on our family and yeah. giving all of our... A lot of quality time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, a lot of quality time. Sometimes too much quality time, but yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, next one, let's see, What's this one. What is the hardest part about living abroad? Okay, hardest part about living abroad, um, obviously would be being away from family and friends, um, but definitely is the hardest part, I would say. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I think it's just so hard being away, especially with kids. Uh, uh, I mean, we were in the Peace Corps before this, and that was just us two. Mm -hmm. and I mean that was over a two-year commitment, and it was it was easier being away. But when you have kids, it just uh, it adds another element. You know, they don't get to see their grandparents, their cousins, their aunts, their uncles yeah. as much. Yeah, that uh, breaks our heart. That's like really, really hard. So it's definitely, definitely mm -hmm. the hardest. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Juicy question time. Let's, see. Let's get juicy. Okay, here we go. Let's go yellow. What annoys you the most about me? Oh my yeah, goodness. Let's see. You gotta be careful with this one. Um, what will you say? <laughs> you know what? I think that you fall asleep during movies <laughs> all the time. I don't understand it. Who cares? That doesn't because I love movies. Like, yeah. I, I really love enjoying a good movie at night. And when we have that, very few and far between because the kids always keep us up. But, like, I always want to just enjoy a movie with Claire and she falls asleep like 10-15 minutes in and it just it aggravates me. so I'm gonna start he'll like he'll like push, like come on you're missing the movie you're missing the movie I'm like I'm tired I'm sorry uh, whatever I'm gonna start giving you medicine to keep you okay next one okay ready oh biggest pet peeve of me um <laughs> Um, okay, I'll tell you, um, this is so gross too, it's like, how, how can you do this? You leave your Q-tips, uh, <laughs> like, anywhere, like, you leave them on the counter, and, That's and the I'm Kleenexes. gonna use them again. Yeah, right, who uses a Q-tip again? <laughs> and Kleenexes, like, if you're done using Kleenex, throw it in the garbage. <laughs> or like an old granny, like, come on, put uh, it up your Sometimes sleeve. Gabe will have them in his mouth, That's kind of gross. It's disgusting. It yeah. is little. Oh. That's fair. It's fair. Disgusting. Fair. Cheers. Cheers to that one. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. yeah. Mm. All right. More, no more the... dirty Q-tips. <laughs> oh. All right. How do you meet people abroad? Okay. Um. Well, I would say, uh, for us, we've met people just like by reaching out on the Facebook expat page. Um. Usually, every country that. Um, yeah, expats tennis. are is yeah. anyone who lives outside of their home country. Mm -hmm. So you can connect. Uh, I mean, there's so many different Facebook groups and and even through online blogs and things like that, where you can mm -hmm. find other families, uh, other people with similar interests. And there's a lot of um, you'd be surprised how many other you know Americans and other expats live in in countries like Ecuador. Mm -hmm. So that's usually how we do it. It's a lot of word of mouth too. Like yeah, like you meet one family and then you go to the party of theirs and then they there's other families there and then you meet this family. So it's just like you yeah. keep meeting people. As soon as like an American family's in town, everybody's like, oh, where are they? They want to get to know uh -huh. you because it's, you know, you want to have that bond with, with other other people from your country. Mm -hmm. All right, next okay. one. Okay, um, what made you decide to move abroad permanently? Mm. Okay, good question. Um... So it was, I think Peace Corps is probably the biggest influence. Yes, right? definitely. But permanently, because that, so we did the Peace Corps and that was a two-year commitment. And then we had Leo when we were in Paraguay. And after that, we moved home for a short while. Um, and then we kind of were like, you know what? We really love the lifestyle in South America. We wanted to embrace the culture. We wanted to raise our kids speaking Spanish. Um, so. Yeah, I just remember we were, when we were in the Peace Corps, like as we were getting to the end, we were like, oh my gosh, like we're going to have to go back 
to America, get full time jobs, like we won't see each other. Oh yeah, that was a hard thing. And like thing being yet. away from Leo at the time. And we just said we, we essentially said like let's let's create a life that we want. You mm -hmm. know, and that you know, we've always talked about living abroad and we, we wanted to be together as much as possible. So that's just how we set it up. And you know, we're we're very we are happy. Very happy. Very happy. So that was kind of the chose that path. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason for, for moving abroad permanently. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, juicy. Let's get Gosh, juicy. Let's get juicy. <laughs> you go first this time. Okay. Um, what are two things on your bucket list? Okay. Um, one is to fly a plane. I definitely want to someday. She's always, fly. yeah, yes. always fly, yeah. I, I mean, I think it would be very scary, but very thrilling at the same time. So I definitely want to do that. And, um... I would love to spend some time in Greece. I don't know. It's like just something I really, really want to do. I want to make sure that we make it to Greece Fly that one day. To Greece, yeah. and <laughs> maybe we'll live in Greece one day. Yeah, maybe. All right. All right. Let's see what I pick. pick purple. Let's go blue. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> when did you know I was the one? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um. So it's a little cliche, but uh, I mean, it was pretty immediate. Like after our first date, I was in love. <laughs> I didn't admit it because I didn't want her to think I was a crazy stalker. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, everything just went off, you know, the stars aligned and I just felt this amazing, amazing connection. And I even told my friends uh, later, uh, it was after that, that she was the one I was going to marry. And been very happy. Yeah. Ever since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it was great. Awesome. Okay, okay, next. Okay, what do you do for work abroad? Okay. Well, we both teach um, English online with, to children in China. Mm -hmm. We do that early in the morning and then it frees up our day to work on other things. So, if you want to talk more about like, yeah, so we have, uh, well, obviously, this. YouTube channel is a big passion of ours, so we uh, work on this. Uh, we have a blog where we do different writing about living abroad. And then uh, we have a business called Artisans, where we work with uh, artisans here in Ecuador. Uh, and we have uh, two other partners who uh, work with artisans in, in Paraguay. And we uh, assist them uh, with selling their products globally. So that's a, kind of a big passion project uh, for us, is uh, trying to help artisans uh, get their products out there because they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, pretty gorgeous much. stuff. Yeah. yeah, they have amazing things. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is the last okay. question. Okay. <clears throat> That's a good way to end. Let's see. Okay. Advice to others who might be thinking about moving abroad. Okay, what advice do we have? Mm. I would say that my biggest piece of advice is to come into it with an open mind don't have too many expectations because once you have expectations, I think then you're kind of let, you could be let down. So if you just say, you know what, I'm going to go into this moving abroad and this experience um, with a positive mindset, mm -hmm. you'll have such a better experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's, that's key. Like the mindset, like being ready to get out of your comfort zone mm -hmm. and, and don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone either. Uh, because, I mean, the more you try to integrate, you know, if you try to learn the language, you try to make friends with locals, it, it just adds so much more to the experience. Mm -hmm. And and also be prepared as best as possible because, you know, it sounds glamorous and it sounds like this beautiful adventure. And it, it is in many ways, but it's also mm -hmm. comes but with a lot. the reality of, too, is like, you're also just living your life just yeah. how you would be living back in the States, but you're... You're in, in another a new country. country. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's sacrifices too. Like, just know your comfort level, right? So, if, make sure you're okay with being away from your family for long periods of time mm -hmm. and giving up conveniences and not having things like maybe Amazon or here we don't have flushing toilets. Yeah. Oh, well, no, we have flushing toilets. We can't oh, flush sorry. our toilet paper. Toilet paper. Yeah. 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 Bugs. You know, there's a lot of bugs here. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, things that you maybe don't think about. Um, but you know they can have an impact on your well-being. Mm -hmm. But it is yeah. an adventure, and we love it. So we mm -hmm. love to offer any advice to anybody who wants it. Mm 
Well, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the Q&A. You also got to learn a little bit more about us. If you made it this far, please give us a like and drop us a comment if you have any questions for us or about living abroad. So that's it for now. Until All next right. time. Cheers. Salud. Hasta luego.